Hello, hello everyone, how y'all doing today? It's J-Pop, and I have my response video, I didn't practice this at all, I have my response video for my 100 subs, so I'm gonna answer all of the questions that were put into my uh, into the comment section, alright? So here we go. Alright, that's it, thank you so much for watching, I hope to see, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> There are, there are a few comments out there, so let's get started. There aren't that many, like I anticipated, but it's alright. I still want to do this anyway. So, the first comment I have is from Pants and Jacket. Hey, just started watching your vids last month, was 7 Saga, and enjoy you play on the randomizer, quality content. Going to, going to catch you next time you're live on Twitch. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you, Pants and Jacket. Um... The Seventh Saga randomizer um, has been a lot of fun. It has rejuvenated my love for the game, and it's the only way I'm going to play the game now. I don't think I could really play it any other way. Um, with the help of other people and just thinking of stupid ways to, to run it, it, it's been a blast and to keep it fresh. Um, I am going to have some announcements, and I'm going to add one here that, just so you know, the Seventh Saga speedruns will not be every Monday now. I plan on doing it every other Monday, and I'm gonna leave a Monday open to speedrun something else. For those that have been there, I'm gonna try practicing Super Metroid. I'm not gonna be top tier or nothing like that, but I just wanna try. That's the current goal that I have. So, I'm glad you like the Seven Saga Randomizer. I know lots of you like it out there, and um, so it will still be coming. But you know, like I've been doing it for a year, so I'll, it's so I don't want to not do it, but I just can't be doing it quite as hard as I have been. I want to make room for other things now. And then we have from your boy Juju. Congrats on 100 subs! Thank you, Juju. Happy belated birthday to you. Love you lots. And actually, as I'm recording this and I'll upload it, um, happy birthday, Emmy Chan. Love you both, all right? And you too, Donut. Love you guys lots, all right? And now we have the next one uh, from Ray Legend 33 Was was that his old one? <laughs> Zell. Um, he, he popped in and was like, it's like, yeah, we were the, talking about the video, how I got to make the video for it. It goes, it's like, what do you want? I don't know, any additional comments. So he trolls and puts any additional comments. So thank you, Zell, for that. Uh, I love you and go fuck yourself. How about that? That's, that's how we roll if you don't know. <laughs> All right. And now we have the last comment that I have. And it's from my brother, The Real Zero. So. We're going to start from the beginning. What was your favorite true LP to do? So, breaking down the language between my brother and I, when he says true LP, uh, an actual LP, one that you record and then upload. Um, not like going over from streams or um, not, you know... Yeah, yeah, basically streams or joke videos or um, something serious that you want to do from beginning to end. Uh, what was my favorite to do? And I actually, this this actually surprised me um, a whole lot. When I went and looked back the videos that I have LP'd, I actually haven't LP'd that many. I have Iron Tank. I have um, uh, Total Recall. Uh, I had Mario Brothers 2 and I removed it. I still have the footage if I ever decide to re-upload it. But it was a time with Nintendo monetization, things like that. Um, I've done Honey Pop 2. Um, and I actually don't think, oh, and Pinbot. I don't I actually don't think I've LP'd anything else. And I, I, that actually was quite shocking to me. Because a lot of what I've done has been on streams for the most part. Darkest Dungeon has been on stream. Uh, Stardew Valley. Um, random Games Don't Count. Um, any of the Spooktober stuff were streams. Any of the horror games were streams. 
um, Monster Rancher with streams, Seven Saga Randomizer, Any Race, well, they were all streams. And it actually was a big shock to me because I thought I did a lot more LPs. Then it dawned upon me, a lot of the LPs that I've done, I've done on my brother's channel. So I remember a lot of those. So I've been doing it, but I actually haven't done a whole lot of LPs. There are two or three LPs that have not seen the light of day. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Uh, one was, um, oh, I actually did Dragon Force 1. And the, prob the, the problem with that was that Dragon F I actually wanted to do Dragon Force 2, but I, I had problems use uh, playing it. It would glitch out on the emulator. It was a common problem, and I couldn't find a way around it. Um, th and there were some things I liked about that game and some, games, some things I didn't. Um, gameplay, it was a step forward. Graphics and, like, story kind of took a step back. Um, but since I couldn't play it, um, I have some footage of it, but it's incomplete. Um, uh, I also, many years ago, wanted to do an LP of Mad Father. I have the footage up to a certain point, and it's incomplete. It ends right there. Um, so, it, and it's a long time ago, it's like eight years old when I was early, crappy headset, don't have a camera, a whole bunch of stuff, couldn't run OBS, um, bunch of things, so that's, um, so, so that's there, um, I actually have some Undertale stuff that I've never released, um, and, I I don't have a lot of Undertale, but I have some, but I've never released it because basically I'm waiting for a moment to release it if I if I ever get the chance. Um and I'll leave it at that. So, when it comes to my favorite LP that I did, let me look at the exact question just to be sure. Let me pop it back up. Let's see. What was your favorite true LP to do? See, true LP. Um, it's it's kind of hard. Like Pinbot. When when it comes to like Pinbot Mario Two and Iron Tank, they were the early days of my YouTube, so I didn't want to swear. You know, I was new and nervous. And anytime you look back at your very first videos, you cringe. You hate listening to yourself. And I can't stand them now. I can't. Um, and the only LPs that I've tried to do recently was an incomplete of um, uh, Ever17. Uh, that turned out to be really difficult to try to physically do. And then Honey Pop. And, like, Honey Pop was a project of that, okay, I'm going to edit something. I'm going to really try to edit it. And I started getting lazy towards the last half, but the first half, um, I, did a, uh, I did a lot more editing. And it was, uh, that was fun. For that reason, to after all the years of doing YouTube and editing and stuff, because um, I don't edit my videos, I don't make things, and I don't have the time to do it. So that one was a lot of fun to edit. Um, you can make all the weeb jokes you want; and they're half true, but I simply enjoy the game and I laughed at it a lot. I laughed at it a lot. Um, I love it for that reason. And then I kind of regret not being able to push through Ever-17 because it's a really good story and I really wanted to relive it, but I just I couldn't do it. Um, if I try to do the game silently, what's the point? It, I think it's empty. But trying to say everything, it was too much. Um, 
I I would have to do it in shorter bursts or something. I'm not ready for it. Um, and I I really don't have that many LPs. The Pinbot's broken one because I used annotations to highlight some stuff, and they're all broken now. The, so it just seems, seems stupid. Iron Tag is alright, and the Marios aren't up anymore. So what is my... And uh, and Total Recall, I died and had a load of save states. So, um... Which one's my favorite? I, it sucks. I actually don't have all that many. So... Kind of because of age, because of timing, I'm going to have to say Honey Pop. It's one of the few that I finished. It's done later and not the early ones. And I I always had appreciation for editors. And I really appreciate what they did after doing that video. So, that's the answer to your first question, bro. But a lot of it realized that a lot of LPs that I've done have been with you. And I kind of... Thought I did more on my own, and I have it. I've done a lot of videos, but not a lot of LPs. It was actually quite quite a shocking revelation to me. So, if you could go back in time and redo one video or series, which would it be? If I were to redo one, um, I actually have a lot of videos on Seventh Saga Two, the Mystic Arc. And that, that, that comes with a story that I think I've told before where I was doing LP of it and my computer crashed, my hard drive, and this, that, and the other, and it was gone and kaput for over a year plus. I actually recovered the footage. I have one ep one or two episodes that I could technically release, but it's like it's been gone too long. Um, there are some regrets with that one, but I don't feel bad because it was... The story was kind of boring, the graphics were kind of drab, and, um, it, 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 it wasn't my fault, so I, I, I've made my peace with that one already, um, hold on, let me, uh, if I could redo one, I don't mind The Darkest Dungeon, the Monster Rancher was fun. Um, you know, I, I sort of now, like if I could find a way to do my instructional LP of Pinbot, that might be the one. Um, like Iron Tank is, is alright. Total Recall, um... It's a little embarrassing, but not too bad. Um, I knew what I was getting into with Honey Pop, so that is what it is. Uh, any of the sh the streams are what they are, and if there are some streams that I did not like, I actually still have it, but never uploaded it. There's have been some nerd rage. Um, Ner uh, going back in nerd rage there's one if I could go back in time and redo the only one that I could really think of was the stream with me and my brother when I when we played degeneration and uh, Jones in the fast lane only because I had the mic muted for half a degeneration and that's really it and, and uh, and it's such a kick in the pants. Like, there was so much of that was there. And it's gone because I didn't record it because I fucked up. That one hurts for that reason. But mostly, I don't think I'd actually change any video or any series of what I've done. Um, Pinbar comes closest because the annotations are broken. It was one of my earlier videos, so I think I could do it with more confidence. You know, better editing so I could you know, show stuff, something like that, um, that, I think, uh, is the only one that I would redo, but for the most part, I don't think I'd redo any of them, maybe I would have rethought Ever 17, I really would have liked to finish that one, but it's a lot, it's a lot for me. And uh, now, I simply don't have the time. Um, 
it's just one of those projects that I kind of did fell by the wayside and will will be lost to time. And then let's see. And then the last question is, what is one game that you would like to do an LP or video for but can't? Maybe technologically, console, would take too long. Um, what LP would I like to do? And I actually thought about this uh, for quite a while, and I actually don't have an answer. I know that's a shitty answer to give, but I don't have an answer because now... Um, like, when it comes to PC, emulators to emulate consoles, uh, have all gotten really, really good. If, you know, if there's one that I can't, I've heard, you know, there's Dragon Force 2 because of technological issues. I have to use emulators because I don't have, uh, capture cards, you know, to use for my consoles. Um, I actually did a long time ago, but it's such old technology, um, it wouldn't work right now. Um, PlayStation, I can, you know, my PS4, I can stream, I've never had an X Xbox, and with PC, um, since I rebuilt this PC five, six years ago now, you know, cause before, I couldn't run OBS, um, so, and, and actually, I couldn't even run Live Split. Also, it, they they weren't they weren't uh, able to run, so it made things uh, difficult. But once I made this PC, I've been able to stream and uh, video record almost anything, uh, and I mostly play on PC now. Um, if there was. A con if there was something and that I would like to do, it would have to be something on the Wii. That's about the and that's the only technological thing that's kind of uh that would restrict me. And it's the capture card thing. And, and I'm not sure how you would emulate it on a console. I've never looked at it. I've never had any interest. But it would be the Wii. But I don't really know what game on the Wii it would be. Um. But, actually, now that I say that, if you take that in concept, I actually would like to do VR. I would love to do VR. And the thing is, I've had the least amount of exposure to VR. Um, and whenever I've had my son's birthdays and there was a VR party that I rented out, like I let all the kids and everybody else do it. I didn't get to do any of it. So that was kind of disappointing. I've done VR at a friend's house once for like 20 minutes. That's it. But I would like to have my own VR and do the th do the thing, have the room, whichever one. Um, now that I say it out loud, that's what I would want to do. All right. So, but um, I can't afford it right now. So that that's going to have to wait until I don't know when. Uh that could be in the future. Maybe when the the VR technology uh, gets to be more common and more reliable, you know, and maybe not have wires and things like that and be, you know, and when it gets to that time, maybe it'll come around. I would like to do it. Who knows? Uh, maybe one day in the future. So, and the one last question because we're brothers do you have Ligma? What's Ligma? <laughs> so, that's it for all the comments. Uh, this video went a lot longer than I actually thought it'd be. I probably just went old man and rambled. But, um, so announcements for 2022. Um, Mondays will be speedruns. Wednesdays will be whatever. Um, yeah, right now I don't really have anything for whatever. There's... Darkest Dungeon 2, there's Slow Living with Princess, and there's Super Mario RPG. Uh, those are the three things that are kind of out there right now until something piques my interest. Um, and Slow Living will will kind of die out soon un unless an update comes out. And Darkest, 2 and Darkest Dungeon 2 is right behind it. So that's kind of what that is. Maybe I'll bring back uh, some random games. There's some things I want to do. 
And for speed running, I anticipate every other week would be uh, Seven Saga, and then every other other week would be Super Metroid. But I anticipate that I'll probably break one of those at some point and do something else on a, a casual speed run day. I don't know, I'll go do Pinbot or fishing or whatever. But that is it. Thank you, everyone that commented. Pants, Juju, Zell, bro. Uh, thank you, everybody, for watching the videos, for liking the videos. Um, you know, it's it's another year, and I'm going to keep pushing forward. If you have anything to say, you know, leave a comment what you like. I, you know, I've had comments with uh, of Spooktober, Cardiophobia, Monster Rancher, you know, People come by the Twitch chat, say hello, ask questions, come on by, and, you know, it's it's just a good time. So, one thing I would like to say um, is that when I, when I started over middle of last year, I started saying this thing at the end of videos, you know, have a good day, good night. Go week, go weekend, wherever you are. You come across a loved one. Be sure to tell them that you love them. And um, I know for some people, you know, it, these current pandemic times have been tough. Some um, have been blessed and haven't been affected. Um, some people, in some way, have been affected. Um, and and I have. Uh, I, I I was affected by it and you know being a parent you know being at the age that I am with my life um sometimes you know like I hear mothers you know oh they make sure they they hug and kiss their kids before they go off to school all the time you know and Sometimes it's that it's that mental worry of when's the last time you're going to see them. You make sure you do the things, you know, that you want to do. And that's really the point. Um, and so I, I dedicate those words um, to you, Cassie. You know, you'll be forever in my heart. I love you lots. And to all of you guys out there, I love you guys too. And that's why I try to make sure to say it. Because who knows? Something may happen and I may never make another YouTube video again. You know, And I may not say goodbye. I hope not. I plan on keep doing it. That hasn't changed. But I make sure to say it now every time. Or at least try to. So I want to get that out there. Because 2022, it's a new year. It should be a better year than last year. It was a better year than 2020 in my opinion um so this year it should be even better than last so again thank you all for watching if you come across a loved one sure tell them that you love them and have a great year i'll see you guys later